looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we got the Thursday LTDs, we got a title update, honestly a standard Thursday at this point, giving us a title update with the LTDs, I'm so used to that already. But first up, first up, before we get into the title update, we go over all the new stuff and go over the LTD stats and everything. Shout out to the Poodle squad, we got Go QB's Go, Go Cuck, I'm probably, I don't know if I was tricked into saying something, but shout out to you man for being a part of the Poodle squad, thank you so much for showing support on each and every video man, appreciate you despite your name. Um, if you guys want to be a ch have a chance to be shouted out in any Poodle Squad uh, ever, make sure to like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, turn on that notification bell, boys. Thank you so much. Uh, if you guys need coins, pick up these new LTDs. They're pretty solid if you guys need them. Head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Coins have taken a bigger dip in price. There's a bigger discount now. If you use code Poodle to get an additional 15% off, and you can buy the LTDs directly on there and discount those as well. But that's enough of that, guys. Let's get into these new LTDs now. I honestly, I wish there was solos. I wish there was limited time solos every Thursday morning that gave you a chance right at a nat ltd so like hear me out it'd be a pack like a like those sneaker packs we used to get it's like they give away 10 ltds out of the million people playing right but it's not so you can pull it and for the people that do pull it, it's not you can't sell it of course but it's still fun to have i think that'd be a super cool solo idea of course very very limited though so make sure it wouldn't like ruin the idea of ltds but still think it could be cool but that's enough of that guys if you're gonna open packs today which i sure as hell will not be because i don't I, I just can't I can't fathom that idea right now if you guys are gonna open packs with my guests You got to go with the elite packs the weekly bundle. I mean the weekly player pack I mean, I don't think team of the week packs are the best ones for this uh, I just don't I don't see many great packs in the store right now for this But I guess you guys have to be elite bundle maybe game changer. I Don't see many great packs right now. Honestly the issue with elite bundles Although they have increased the odds of them now I'm plus 11% honestly, which isn't that horrible but that's in the 86 per 86 and the 88 is going to be seven or above honestly not not the greatest odds not the worst odds i've definitely seen worse but moving on let's go check out the ltds check out some stats see what we're working with now how much would they be lately the ltds have been taking a massive dip i really just depends on pack odds that day like i've seen some ltds like 250k like pretty much their price they quick sell for within like a day and i've, I've seen other ones last like a month or so without even being touched in price i guess it's really just subjective to what's going on in the game at that time so we got Matt Stafford up in the block. So yes, we did get Matt Stafford as one of the new LTDs. Super, super exciting to see him in the game, of course. Matt Stafford always has one of the greatest throw powers. Probably going to be similar to a Brett Favre type here. Now, let's compare. We got 72 speed, solid speed. Not, not, not great, not bad. 93 throw power, amazing. 90 short accuracy, amazing. 88 medium is decent, but you can get play fake and get it above 90. 91 throw deep accuracy, 87 throw under pressure, 85 throw on the run, 87 play action. Now, my personal recommendation, guys... You got to go play fake with this guy. If you go play fake, you will get him up above 90 medium and above 90 play action. And you will get his throw power to like a 95, 96. And you can power him up as well. So powered up and chemmed up, you can get him up to like a 97 throw power. Above all threshold throwing besides throwing a pressure, possibly. I don't know what they give him for that. That's perfect. It's Brett Favre Jr. Now, of course, Brett Favre is probably going to be cheaper. So would you rather have Brett Favre or Matt Stafford? You'd probably rather have Brett Favre because he has a better release. But if you are a Matt Stafford guy, you, for some crazy reason, in the pits of hell, run a Lions theme team. Of course, that's great as well. Now, for my, my personal opinion, Brett Favre is better. But Matt Stafford has potential to be the same quarterback, just about, or similar, a similar quarterback. Again, the issue is here is that, see, if Brett Favre was the LTD and Matt Stafford was the regular player that you can just obtain from the auction block, I'd be like, okay. Well, in that case, Matt Stafford's a good budget buy. But it appears as though... Matt Stafford's gonna be the more expensive option. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to remain cautious now. Now I do want to compare him to Vic real quick. I just want to see the throwing stats for all you guys who are like pocket passer versus first rushing quarterback. Michael Vick fully chemmed up and powered up. Of course, we got the plus 20 speed just about. Now throw power is the same. Now here's been my issue with every quarterback ever compared to Michael Vick. Michael Vick gets that throw power. And once Michael Vick's a high enough overall, he also has the throwing threshold. So it comes to a point where how can you compete with Vick, right? So right now, the only the only thing that Mike uh, that Matt Stafford really has, in my opinion, is going to be the medium accuracy. That's it. I don't care about the throw short. I don't care about the deep because it all gets up with chems and abilities that go deep. And the throw on the run he has on him. And play action. So when you compare him to pocket, like that's the issue when they drop Vick. Like when the game's like, why does everyone use Vick? It's like because even though Vick may not be the most accurate, the, diff the, the gap between stats is just it's just too crazy right so like 
Vic always loses in short and mid medium 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 but he has deep and he has every other throwing one and he has speed now of course the next Vic card that we get like literally anything is going to end up hitting the, the medium actually would play fake or something and that's when he becomes a god that's like when you get like golden ticket ask Vic you get it but the issue is with Vic, we may not see another one until Ultimate Legends, of course. So that could be the end of Vic for quite a while. I hope we see another one, but I doubt it. We usually never see a stopgap Vic between now and Ultimate Legends, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Now, moving on from uh, Matt Stafford, of course, let's go check out the other one, which is going to be Vita Vey, as you guys probably saw on the screen as I was uh, scrolling through before. So Vita Vey is right here. Now, if you guys did see, it was pretty funny. Last time on Twitter, they did tweet him out, and they accidentally tweeted out the wrong Vita Vey stats. They tweeted him out with like an 86 speed. Everyone was cracking jokes about y Usain Bolt, uh, Vita Bolt, Usain Vey, like all the stuff I was seeing on Twitter saying he was the Flash. It's kind of funny. It would be awesome if he did have an 86 speed. But let's compare him. 67 speed. As you guys know, Vita Vey is historically slow. Like when it comes to Madden, he's like Damon Harrison level, like always one of the slowest cards in the game. 79 Excel is not horrible though. 93 strength is great. 92 tackles great, 88 player X great, 89 block shed is great, 88 power move. So this card has to be powered up in my opinion. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Has to be powered up and has to get pass rush chems on him. If you do do such, you will get him to above a 90 block shed, above a 90 power move, which makes him a dual threat. Can both stop the run and stop the pass, which means he can be he can be in the game at all times, right? That's the issue. Like when you have a defensive tackle like only block shed, you have him on first downs, uh, go to goal, and like things like that, and then take him out for you know for passing downs. But with a guy like Vita Vey, he's kind of slow, but if you're a guy that doesn't want to be bothered with formation subs and stuff, you power up and chem him up, which I prefer Mean Joe Green still because he's going to be the faster of the bunch. But again, if you power him up, you can go ahead and get him above 90 on both ends. Plus that strength and Excel is going to be, you know, do some damage there. So of course, if you have all that, he can be, he can be kept in on all downs, which is decent enough about him. So he's not bad in the slightest. I don't think he's the greatest defensive tackle just because like I said, He's historically slow, and again, if you want him on pass, like let's say it's it's third and twenty, and the quarterback's backed up deep trying to get it, and, and Vita Vey Vita Vey breaks breaks the center down, right? He's running at him. You can just run around him. Um, by the time he gets to you, you probably made the pass already. But a guy like Mean Joe Green or Aaron Donald, the defensive tackle, they, they give you like a second and a half, two seconds for you at the quarterback. So really mess disrupts a throw, disrupts throwing pressure, and all that other stuff. So I personally, I mean, I think Vita Vey is great. I just don't think he's like the best option. And the issue, like I've been saying with LTDs, if the LTDs aren't the best option at their position, they're not worth it, right? Because if they drop of LTD Matt Stafford, but there's at least three quarterbacks I can name before him, right? Michael Vick. I'd go with Michael Vick. I'd go with Brett Favre. And quite honestly, I can't think right now, maybe Aaron Rodgers is right there too as well. But like if you can name, if you, there's even two, two guys way better than him, or at least better enough. Why go the LTD? The LTD is more expensive, right? So Vita Vey, same thing. I'd rather take my Mean Joe Green. And it might be the same price. But again, the L if he wasn't an LTD, he might be affordable. So that's going to be the issue with him. But I'm uh, moving on from that, guys. We do have a title update coming out today. I didn't go over, I'm not going to go over any of the details. I'm just referencing it. There's a title update coming out today. This game's coming like Call of Duty Warzone. I swear we have a title update every other day. Thursday's literally like title update Thursday at this point. We do have an unopened pack. Let's go check out that. Open up a good morning pack. Can we pull one out of these? I saw someone pull an LTD out of these, and I've held that hope ever since. Uh, I've, I suddenly like these packs a lot more because I didn't think they even put them in here. I don't even want to know how historically low those odds are, but we're going to test our luck each and every Thursday for it. Oh, we have another one. Okay. Perfect. I thought it was one of those troll ones where it says I have a second one that I really don't. I always get upset when I have those. All right. Can we get an LTD? No. All right, guys. That's about it for the video. If you guys do want to pick up Vita Bay or Stafford and you still want them, pick them up directly on my reserve down below. Use code Poodle 15% off. Take advantage. They're all going to be discounted. The cards will be up on there eventually, as well as coins and trainings. Power them up. So make sure you're checking out all that, guys. That's about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video. If you want to be part of the Poodle Squad? Turn on the Naughty Bell. Like the video. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. And you'll probably shout it out. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.